Come down and comfort us, O oh venerated mamas. Come down and strengthen us, O oh fathers with the iron bones. Give us skin that is tougher than the times. Whisper battle tactics, both essential and forgotten. We are burning on the dark side of there's nothing new under the sun. Come down and remind us why we run out of cheeks to turn. Ashe, I'm writing this in self-defense. Scribbling between the lines arising from the quizzical expression in my son's eyes as I finally cry out to the Most High for remedy. He doesn't fully understand the reason that I'm weeping for a man I never met. Can't place the latest faded deaths in their proper context, but he does know this. Policemen like to kill black people all the time. Now as a father, I have slain a million shadows and imaginary ninjas. Shielded him from television images of villains all too real, but there are, Im there are instances in which a recognition is too ubiquitous to attempt to kill or disavow. He's afraid now, in a way all too familiar, and I'm afraid that I can't make this monster disappear again. Now in retrospect, it wasn't for a lack of effort. Long as I can remember, I tried to hedge against this. I was raised believing the narrative that if I did my best to impress them, I would eventually gain their acceptance, that they consider me better than the rest of them, and that my resulting successes would sequester my children from all of this. But now, the sanctuary is eerily silent and brother ridden. There is gun smoke in the air. The streets are bathed in pepper spray and brilliant crimson resistance, and I am fresh out of gentility. That last hashtag shattered the mass that my ancestors bequeathed me as a means of survival, and I can feel myself completely coming undone. Perhaps the fact that the last 187 pulled a 211 on my son's sense of safety was just enough to take me over the edge of this cliff, and I'm doing my best to write my rage into obsolescence, but it just doesn't seem to be diminishing besides. I don't even know if these words will be worth it in the end. If anyone is even hearing me over the gunfire and fanfare and repetition, I'm entirely too angry to scrawl another witty slogan onto a poster board in big white America to grow a conscience when they obviously aren't even listening. Listening, sick of attempting to convince them that the declaration of my life is intrinsically valuable shouldn't result in an argument. Tired of having to convince them that the declaration of my life is intrinsically valuable shouldn't result in an argument. Sick of attempting to make the case for conclusions that they'd usually consider common sense, and so I'm sitting here. Considering all of this, watching my daughter skipping rope as I skip heartbeats, a murmuring mass grave beneath her feet, begging for a reason to swallow her or no reason at all, we are obviously not considered equal in the eyes of the law of gravity, so we drop quicker than they do on the other side of town, and her lighthearted naivety is too heavy for me to carry now, there is, there is, there is paranoia glistening on my skin, red and blue demons in my, in my windshield and my rearview mirror, with every passing day, my remaining illusions of inclusion are being stripped from me, and I can't shake this feeling that I've been sending my children into a condemned building filled with killer priests, sadistic teachers, politicians, and policemen, and I can't shake this feeling that I've been giving my best energies to my worst enemy for nothing in the end, there's not an expression desperate enough to convince the special kind of disgrace I face in knowing that the only way to raise my babies with any semblance of safety is to take their dignity away from them before they're old enough to miss it, only to later attempt to convince them that I did it in the name of love. And maybe I've just had enough of acting like none of this matters. Maybe I've just had enough of running and living in fear. My sanity is rapidly slipping on spent shell cylinders, but there is an ironic nobility in coming unhinged and no longer permitting the idealistic willingness to get along with them or anyone to interdict the simple will to live at least when they inevitably come for me. When they lay siege to my babies and plot to conquer my queen, I will be standing in defense, cocked and loaded as opposed to on my knees. I am begging for mercy. I'm kneeling before my altar now, though, praying for strength and victory. May the ancestors and all my Mighty God be with us all, but as for me, this is a war that there is no longer an option not to win. Come down and comfort us, O oh, venerated mamas. Come down and strengthen us, O oh, fathers with the iron bones. Give us skin that is tougher than the times. Whisper of battle tactics, both essential and forgotten. We are burning on the dark side of there's nothing new under the sun. We are burning, we are burning, we are burning, we are burning. We are burning. <laughs>